Good morning, everyone. Are you all awake yet? It's coffee time. Wakey, wakey. Yes, I've got my morning coffee here, and I've been up for a couple of hours. I usually get up with Gerald um, to have a coffee with him as he gets ready for work and things like so, that. Yes, yeah, so how are you all doing? How are you all doing in your part of the world? Well, I've got some things that I can share with you on what's been going on in my part of the world, especially today. Um, today is like a storm day here in Nova Scotia. There are actually a lot of people out of power in this area, but as you can see, we still have power. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. But if we run out of power or if the power goes out, I am prepared. <laughs> I am prepared. Yesterday I did a lot of things. I cooked a chicken in my slow cooker. I made a macaroni salad. Um, I, I have all of these different things lined up so that if the power goes out, we won't be going hungry. So we're all set that way. The type of weather that we're having here is uh, quite a bit actually. We've got rain and then it's supposed to snow and then there's supposed to be ice pellets and amidst all of that very very high winds and uh, throughout the night and even now the winds are picking up. So like I said we still have power. The lights are on. But I did a lot of housework yesterday knowing that there was a chance that the power could go out today. I did a lot of laundry, um, you know, a lot of dishes, like of course the dishes are all done. Just different things like that that require power. I did a lot yesterday, so we're good to go today, even if the power goes out. But you guys, come join me today. I sure could use the company. And um, it's just going to be a relaxed and chill day. Just going to putter around the house. But you guys, I'd love to have your company. So come on along and come join me, my friends. And there's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Nancy's on her catnip blanket. Joshua bought that catnip blanket for Nancy from the farmer's market. Hi Nancy. I figured on a day like today, it's good to get as many warm meals in as we can while we still have power. So I asked Josh if he wanted some scrambled eggs and toast this morning. Usually he has cereal um, for breakfast, but with the weather being the way it is and the power situation being a little unpredictable, Thought it would be to get, uh, good to get as many warm meals in as we can while we still have the power. And scrambled eggs is always a good idea. And uh, some nice warm toast as well.
always dishes to do, whether it's putting things in the dishwasher or washing things by hand. There we go, another task done for now. These cups were given to us, courtesy of my daughter Stacy. I don't want to put these in the dishwasher because I don't want the paint to come off. This is what I put my compost in. So things like um, so things like apple cores, or if I'm making a salad and there's leaves that are browned. I put all those type of things in here or if there's a little bit of scraps left on a plate um, I put them in the compost just different things like that go in here but now I actually have to go out to the compost bin which is outside and just empty that out so here I go <laughs> out into the weather <laughs> Boy, there's not something out there. Well, <laughs> look at my hair. Oh, my goodness. Look at my hair. <laughs> well, I got the I got the compost outside. Oh my. Don't I look beautiful? <laughs> okay, guys, guess what? Give me two minutes sec so I can go brush my hair, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> so I got my hair all brushed and uh, just gonna put some more of this lip chap on. You probably noticed that my lips get really dry. They get very dry this time of year. And um, I have to make sure I keep this on a lot. I put it on a lot during the day. It works pretty good too. Makes my lips feel a lot better because they just usually feel really, really dry, but this helps. Yes, that's quite the weather out there, isn't it? Oh man, look at my hair. It's all wet. Oh well. Yes, I wasn't expecting that long. Oh, uh, that compost bin to be tipped right over, but you know, with the wind, the way it is, it's like, 
<laughs> Never a dull moment, my friends. Never a dull moment. <laughs> I've got my handy dandy dishwasher going and that's a big help. Got my dishes washed by hand. So that's done too. Kitchen is nice and tidy. So I'm happy about that. There's my coffee mug. We still have power as you can tell, so I'm going to vacuum my stairs. So I'm going to get that started right now. Folded laundry. Those are my jammies. <laughs> They're nice and warm. I have my towels and face cloths all folded as you can see. So I just have to take them upstairs and put them away. I just have to go into the laundry room for a moment. But I want to show you a couple things that I do that might be different than what other people do. But it's different in a good way. <laughs> Here, I'll show you what I mean. I have different colored baskets. I have a red one, a blue one, and over here on my washing machine, I always keep this white one. Now, I can might as well start with the white one since my hand is on it. Um, for my white basket, like these are all actually color coded, I have a color code for these baskets. This white one here is for um, dishcloths and tea towels that have been used. You know, things that are a little bit wet or damp, I put in this white basket here. And notice I have them on my washing machine so they get washed top priority. I don't wait very long to wash those just when, just because they're damp or wet. So that's uh, for my dish towels, my tea towels, things like that. My blue basket and this is where all the socks go. When I wash and dry the socks I put them all in this basket and then I choose a day about once a week and I put them in pairs and all of those socks go in the blue basket. I have clothes in here that have stains on them so I use this stain remover here. It's one of the types of stain removers that I use. So anything that needs needs that stain remover goes in this basket here. So I have it all color coded to make my life a little easier. I do try to go through this basket once a week, but if my weeks are very busy, sometimes I don't get to it till about a week and a half. So I just do the best I can. And as you saw, there was a mountain of socks in here that needed to be folded and put away. So today was the day. Look at those. I wonder whose socks these are. <laughs> of course, they're mine. <laughs> they're my socks. I got them for Christmas. These socks here don't have a pair or a match quite yet. And these socks over here are the ones that I folded. Joshua socks there. Gerald socks in the back. And my socks right here. I'm in the kitchen again 
and I'm doing a little bit of work. I'll show you. I've been working on the chicken that I cooked up yesterday. I've been taking it off the bone is what I've been doing. I cooked it in the slow cooker. So now I'm just getting it ready for supper. And then I'm going to finish up my macaroni salad. All I have to do is put the tuna and the mayonnaise in it. And I'm thinking that if the power stays on by supper time, by 5 p.m., I might cook up this mushroom gravy and make us some hot chicken sandwiches for supper tonight. So I think that'll be nice. And if the power does go off, that's okay. We'll just make do. And I can make a romaine, um, not romaine lettuce, but I have romaine lettuce in the fridge, but I can make a Caesar salad to go with what I have here if the power goes out. I just want to thank you all for spending the day with me. It was an interesting day, even though it was a stormy day outside. I just want to thank you for, for spending some time with me today and keeping me company. It's always great to have you here. And um, I have more vlogs to come. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And if you like this vlog, please give me the old YouTube thumbs up or press the subscribe button. And you guys have a really nice night tonight and I hope the weather where you are is really nice and not so stormy as it is here. <laughs> so I'll be talking to you guys soon, okay? And, and uh, enjoy your night tonight and have a relaxing one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.